Hello and welcome beautiful scorpion shape. I hope you're doing amazing. Today after the whole spinny thing, I hope you enjoyed my January challenge. Today we're gonna come into another conditioning today with upper body and a little bit of core. This is gonna be a very very fun one. Um, maybe a little bit tricky but you're already used to it, right? <laughs> There are always some challenges in my videos so i would say you get warmed up check out my channel and as soon as you got your sweat on let's take a step towards the mat <laughs> we will be working for uh, 40 seconds on 20 seconds off and i will explain you the moves as we go but we will be starting with some very easy oblique crunches for that. You just want to be at your pole, in front of your pole, and the inside leg is gonna come at hip height, hooking, and we want to simply do the oblique crunch right here. So you want to lift yourself up through your belly. All right, let's get to it. stay here the leg will stay on the pole and we're simply turning towards our mat hips are closing from here we want to go down and up either hands extended or alongside your body let's go slow movements but controlled Shake everything out and we'll go to the other side. Oblique crunches, take a deep breath <laughs> and then we'll get into it. Inside leg is hooking and then coming up and down with your body. Turning away from the pole, your leg is still hooking, hips are closing down. Try to like wiggle around until you feel comfortable. And then again from here, down, straight back up.
Ooh, shake it out. The next one is simply a pole hold where you will be coming up, holding as long as you can. And then switching hands when you come down. Let's go. So simply hold, chest is against a pole, feet are down. Hold as long as you can here. When you're sliding down, come down, shake it out, other hand on top, and repeat. Shake it out. Whew. Another pole hold, split grip. And we'll hold this. And we will stay at one side for now. You can come down, shake it out, and then go back in. Same side. Elbow can be against your hip. Exact same thing on the other side. Whew. Breathe, shake it out. This is really taking a toll on your hands, <laughs> but it wouldn't be conditioning if it wouldn't be conditioning our hands, right? Get ready, split grip or hold, other side. My pole today is very slippery. I'm in the big leagues, told them don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, hey, feeling like Whitney. I need a bag, bruh, send it through quickly. I'm making his dog, like I'm in the big leagues. Told him that I gotta go, dog. I'm riding a road, y'all. I think that I'm back in my bag now. So I need that go, y'all. Got hits when they throw in the fastball. Shake it out. We're going back into the split grip with the first side. And now instead of having the legs back, you actually want to have your legs in front to also engage your core. Get ready, split grip. And then put your legs in front and simply hold for as long as you can <laughs> before coming down, taking a breath. And this is very hard, so it's okay if you don't hold for super long. Remember to breathe. Push through that bottom hand. You've got 10 seconds to go. Shake it out. Same thing on the other side. It's actually amazing to see, to compare if you do this workout again, if you have improved at all.
One last time with this boomerang split grip. And now instead of holding, we want to do repetitions. So legs up, legs down, legs up, legs down. <laughs> First side, here we go. And I know it might feel like a lot, but it's already over soon. <laughs> Shaking it out. And last time. On the other side, before we move on to something different. Let's get our games, ladies and gentlemen. Boomerang repetitions. Next up, we're gonna do twisted grip push-ups. Twisted grip is where you're holding on to the pole in a twisted manner, all right? So you're behind the pole, you're twisting your palm up, and then you're gripping the pole. From here, you want to be right next to the pole and simply do push-ups until you meet the pole. So let me show it to you from a different angle. You're side by side with your pole and then doing a push up, holding on until the shoulder meets your pole. This is a very strong exercise for the shoulder. <laughs> Let's get to the other side. Twisted grip, you're behind the pole, rotating your thumb down until you're grabbing on the pole, coming next to the pole and doing push-ups. So you're sliding down until you meet the shoulder and I'm pushing up with the hand on the floor. Yes. Yes, <laughs> we've got two exercises left. First up, pencil hold and lower. So you're jumping up the pole, actually right there. You're holding and then you're lowering yourself down very slowly, switching hands.
The last exercise is going to be caterpillar. So you want to be moving up your pole. One leg is in front, the other leg is behind. And from here, you want to be extended. Going into a push-up and then pulling your hips high. So extend, coming down, pushing yourself high. Caterpillar. Your legs are helping, but not too much. down coming back to your mat it wasn't an easy 15 minutes if you want to you can do this whole circuit again and have 30 minute workout because why not <laughs> it's really getting you going isn't it and yeah if you have another um, pull plan afterwards go ahead do your tricks do your choreo and if you did this as like an in-betweener or finisher of your workout great job <laughs> so let's take one hand one arm across your chest Whew, really feeling that shoulder <laughs> and breathe into the stretch release other side <sighs> One hand to the floor, the other one bring it across, really sitting your hip towards the other side, stretching your obliques. Slowly bringing yourself back. Other hand to the floor, stretching up and over, sitting your hip towards the other side. Focus on your breathing here. Bringing this back. Interlacing your fingers, twisted. I'm just gonna turn around so you can see. From here you want to round in your back all the way, bringing your chin to your chest and feeling into the stretch. Slowly opening up, straightening your back, bringing your hands back, fingers facing away from you, and then pushing your chest out, head back in your chest opener. Bring your head back, chin to chest, slowly rolling up. One last stretch for your forearms and fingers. Coming onto all fours and then bringing your fingers facing your knees. From here, not locking out your elbows, but bringing them in a slight bend. Rounding your back and sitting back until you can feel a stretch in your forearms. release a little bit come forward shift your weight forward and then breathe out push yourself back again very gently all right slowly peel your hand your palm your fingers off the floor hmm. giving it a good shake <laughs> Right, thank you so much for doing this work with me today. You are finding all kinds of different videos if you haven't had enough on my channel. And yeah, until my next video, I hope you enjoy your day. Thank you so much, bye.